All right, we're almost done with cleaning up this spreadsheet. Boy, it's it's a harder one to do, I know. Um, but we needed to get rid of all that dead weight because all those numbers that didn't have any companions to them, there was no point. Um, I'm going to do a couple more things here. One, I don't like how small this font is, and I don't um, like that they're different sized fonts, so I'm actually going to make it all 11 point, why not? And then I'm going to go up here to column A, right here, and I'm going to turn it so it's, see how it turns into that double-sided arrow? If I, if I let my mouse hover over the line between A and B, it turns into this double-sided arrow. I'm going to double-click, and it makes it automatically wide, right? Oh, I want it wider. I want that stupid St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Boy, they're a long one. All right, and then see how that row's too wide? I'm going to double-click. There we go. Made it nice and narrow. No, you don't have to do that. It just, it drives me nuts when they're not all nice. And <laughs> I guess I'm weird that way. All right. So all the data sets in. Everything's great. Fabulous, marvelous. Okay. It wants us to insert a new title. Oops, I better get my um, we're supposed to leave in those tabs. You leave in all of these about and footnotes and such. For one thing, it shows your instructor that you downloaded it. For another, you're actually going to need some of this information here in the about one later. Okay? So just leave it there. But we're going to insert a new sheet. You can do this two ways. You can go over here, see where it kind of has this little picture of a sheet, and click on it. That would work. Or you can just right click and insert. And then double click to rename it and I'm going to name it analysis and I'm actually going to move it because it's more important than the rest of these right there it's data is here analysis is here all right I think it's well past time that we save this sucker don't you I mean we don't want to get any of this information lost so I'm going to go to file save as now this is an old version of Excel a 2003 format I don't really like that very much so I'm going to go down here to the type I'm going to make it save it as the modern Excel workbook, the kind that they've been doing since um, Excel 2007, XLS X. But if you don't have that, if you've got an older version of Excel, you're fine. Just use XLS, whichever. Okay. And then while I'm on the subject, I need to name this. So you want to put your last name, not my last name, your last name. And then what course you're in probably would be a good idea. You, so you could say like Math 133. You could say um, MAT-133, whatever. You just want to give your instructor a heads up of what this is. And then Project 2. I think that's what I said to do. Yep, Project 2. There you go. So it's SLS, XLS, or XLSX, depending on whatever. Right? Your instructor um, can read either one of them. Oops. And make sure, which I didn't just do, when you save it, make sure you're saving it someplace you know where it is. Like, I had no idea where this was. So I should probably put it someplace like my 133 folder or my desktop, someplace I know where I'm going to be able to get it. Remember that if you're working on um, a computer at school, you need to not only save it, but you probably want to save it onto a jump drive and email it to yourself. That way, in case your jump drive gets dropped in a puddle, you'll still be able to access it somehow. So I'm going to put it right here. All right. There we go. Now I know where it is. I know it's saved. I know it's got my name on it. Everything's good. If I wasn't going to work on this computer again, I would also email myself a copy, and you should too, just to be safe. All right. Well, we've really spent a lot of time cleaning up the data, and that's actually the hardest part for the Excel, to be honest. But let's move on, and we're going to start working on the next portion, which is um, constructing a scatter diagram. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start that in the next video. So I'm going to wrap it up here. We're all done with organizing, and I'll meet you back here for the next portion.